on guys, back again. Uh, today we're going to grind the mains on a 305 Chevy. So what we'll do first is we'll set it up and just to see how much bend it's got before we put it in the machine and pop it in. Alright, as you can see it's only got lucky to have one thou so it's basically straight. I've ground the big ends already and now we're ready to set up for mains. All right, well, let's get it set up in the machine. All right, we're just gonna dress the front of the wheel, give it a light dress before we start grinding, just to make sure everything's nice and good. We'll just get it as close as I can before it touches. And then we'll get some of these shields up here and um, so we can get the coolant going. Just a light dress off, and now we're ready to set the crank up. When setting up on mains, you want to set up off the furthest edges of the crankshaft, more preferably the seal area and then and the snout at the front. That gives you the perfect center line to then grind your mains to. So this one we're going to set up here in the seal. This crank is actually out of a marine application, so it has a dog drive on the front that would go into a, a boat. So rather than remove that, we know the crank's dead straight. We're going to set up off this very front edge of this main journal to keep everything in line. Now basically to set this up in the machine, these are like a four jaw chuck either end. So you've got stroke for movement to adjust and you've got phasing which is the side movement to adjust. And we want to get this thing running true end to end. Just take a look at this gauge. We'll just put this crank in so we'll just see what it's doing. Okay, when we turn it over, so we've roughly got 10 or 12 foul run out, so what we're going to do is dial this in so it's running as true as we can get it. Okay, so when we're setting it up, we'll take a look at the dial gauge and what we do is when we get the run out, we just find out on which adjustment we need to change, whether it's stroke or phase. So where the dial gauge stops, so we know it's in the phase movement, and then what you want to do is just move it halfway. And we keep moving that halfway into the middle until we get it to run exactly true. Now it's out a little bit on the stroke, so we'll adjust that. That's set up really nicely. Now we'll go to the other end and set that end up. Now it's just got over 4 power run out, so now we'll bring that in and get it more towards the zero. So 
So we undo the clamps, adjust it, and then do the clamps back up. Usually once you correct the stroke, then it's out on the face. Then you just keep going back and forth until you get it running dead through. Right, that end's still true. And that end's perfect. So what we'll do is we'll double check again and go into the middle and just see how much out around we do have or how much flex in the crank we got. In the grind is usually a little bit different to V-blocks on the outside of the machine. So now it's showing 2,000 run out, which is very little. And once we grind it, it's all going to be all true to each other and all in the center line. All right, that's set up. All right, we're ready to start setting up. I'll do the middle journal first, make sure that's right, and then we go side to side from there. And when you're coming from big ends to mains, you want to back your wheel off because Nine times out of ten, the mains are bigger than the big ends, and you don't want to ram the wheel straight into the mains, so back that off. All right, we'll bring the wheel in and start getting set up and set our gauge and get ready to start grinding the first journal. All right, I usually get the wheel in close as and then set my gauge. Just adjust this to sit on the journal so we can see how much we're removing when we go in and grind. Alright, we've got our gauge set and I've measured the journal and got roughly 9,000 to remove. So I've just got that on the 9,000 there. And now what you want to do is come in on your first cut and clean up your radiuses and the walls and leave a couple of thou to go to do your final pass. So what we'll do is we'll come in, we'll start grinding and then go from there. So as we grind in, there's that one or two thou of out around this. And now you can see on the gauge up here get a bit of an idea of how it's grinding, how round it is. And so we want to know now whether we put a steady on to get it perfect or not. But as you can see, this is grinding as best as it possibly can. So there's no real need to put a steady on. Now we'll bring this around and to the tooth out to go. Our zero is here. So we want to stop tooth out before size. 
and do our roughing pass. And we want to go into the radiuses, clean up the walls, get everything done, measure it, and then take it to the final size. I'll just slowly traverse. Clean up the radiuses. Now off to the other side. Okay, that's done. Just didn't quite clean up on this side. The radius on the crankshaft is just a fraction smaller. This side was cleaned up nice and perfect, first go. But that's no problem with that. All right, now we'll measure it and then we'll get ready to take the final size. And what you want to do here is just check for outer roundness, check for taper. This is the time to check everything before you take it to size so you know everything's right. And it's measuring round like the gauge is showing. And we've got tooth out to remove to get the final size. All right, so we've measured it. We have tooth out to remove. So we'll start it back up and come in and take it to size. Pop the gauge on. And now this is the time I'll adjust the gauge and get it spot on how much I want to take out and then we'll just take it to the zero. Alright, you can see the gauge, it's just coming round to the zero, there's virtually no movement in the needle which is showing us it's grinding perfectly round. Now we'll go side to side, just touch in the radiuses so we don't get any chatter, and send it out and measure it. It's done. So now we'll just measure it and confirm that we're on size. Alright, what we normally do is measure side to side just to make sure we've got no taper. And then we measure around the journal just to make sure we've got no out around us. And everything's come up nice. And we're on size for 10 under. So I was aiming for the 39. And there we have it. Alright, now we're off to grind the rest of the journals and finish the, this crankshaft off.
take that little barrel off from when we ground it and now it's all ready to go it measures up nice ready to go back into service all right that's it for this video um, we're gonna have some more videos coming up on machining big ends uh, doing snout repairs and probably stroke and crank shafts and things like that and crack testing so yeah keep up to date keep subscribed and don't miss a video Thank you.